Hello, my name is Roger Wheelock, and this is the introduction to our series of biblical worldview classes titled Thinking Like a Christian. Are you worried about the economy? Are you worried about the educational system that is increasingly pouring radical, immoral, and even unsafe ideas into your children's minds? Instead of educating them on the basics, preparing them for the future? Are you concerned about the rapidly declining moral condition of our nation? and fear that your children will not enjoy the standard of living and the safety and the peace that you and your parents have experienced. The Bible says in Hosea 4.6, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. And Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This series is designed to educate and inspire you with the truth of God in those areas of your life that you have concerns and questions. We're basing this series on scripture from 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5, which states that the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. A stronghold is like a fortress. It houses the enemy and holds prisoners in chains. It continues and says, we demolish arguments and every pretension or idea that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. In other words, we're born into a battleground, but we don't fight in a war involving weapons like tanks or guns or knives. Our battle is over ideas. Because bad ideas cause wars and arguments, and they lead to poverty slavery and death but it's the good ideas that come from the creator of all life himself that are contained in the bible that promise success and joy for everyone who will embrace them these truths have a great historical track record and they can be observed and verified in reality these biblical ideas need to be spotlighted and translated into the context of our everyday lives into today's world so that we can recognize them and see the difference between the bad ideas and the good ones so that we don't get caught up in following a crowd over a cliff. It's our purpose in this short introduction to show you the remarkable position in history that God has placed you in. You and I are not here by accident. We have just as important a role to play today as anyone who ever lived. It's been said that those who don't know history are condemned to repeat it. So let's travel back a bit in history to see how we got to where we are today, living in the most prosperous, generous Christian nation that the world has ever seen. And yet it seems we're also on the brink of losing it all. Maybe we can get an idea of what we can do to regain what we've lost.